The HLN Elf found its way into our studio. How the, I don't understand how these things pop up all over the place. I want you to meet, though, Krista Pitts. She knows the secret behind the magic. She is the CEO of the Elf on the Shelf, and she joins me in studio. Great to see you. Thank you. Good to now, be here. These elves have been a part of my life as long as I can remember in my house, but you guys are the ones who actually decided to put and memorialize it. This is true. For all of us in the book, The Elf on the Shelf, which, which talks about why these guys show up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, Santa sends a scout elf to your home, and it doesn't get its magic until you name it. And so that's how it comes to life. That's how the magic begins. And it shows up, you know, sometimes Thanksgiving, sometimes December 1st, but around holiday time. And then the elf every night flies back and forth to Santa and gives him an update on whether you're good or bad and what you want for Christmas. This is, this is amazing stuff because Elvin showed up December 1st in our house. Elvin shows up. And he does a lot of things. He, he actually communicates <laughs> with my son. Oh, yeah. My, my son will write notes to him, and then sometimes he'll write things out in serial. Oh, it, and, it's amazing. The elves, they you know, spend time in the workshop working on these things. You know, these skills Santa trains them on. But it can be anything from just flying from one spot to another in the home, making sure you've got a nice eye on the kids, to actual donuts you know, made just yeah. elf size. We find them... In fact, lots of people talk about seeing them in the refrigerator because they're missing home. They want to cool off a little bit. Elves can be anywhere. The bottom line, though, they're watching you. They are watching. And they know if you're <laughs> naughty or nice. Now, the great thing is, is that it was you, your sister, and your mom. Right. So it's a fa this was your family experience, but you guys were the smart ones. Unlike me, I should have put it into a book because now everyone is reading the book. They are. Yeah, we, um, of course, got permission from Santa Claus, which was the most important thing. Right. But in 2005, we published the book ourselves and really got turned down by all of the big wigs that are supposed to know better, the ivory tower uh, folks, You as did it, it yourselves. The whole thing from start to finish. And, and how quickly did it grow? Because now we've seen like 2.5 million books sold. Um, you guys were in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, right? The, the... Right. We had a balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. We had an animated special that aired last year. Which on tells the story. Yeah, absolutely. It tells all about how a scout elf gets its magic. Uh, here you're seeing just that, some, some balloon practice, as it were, for the parade. And there, So how is this... All year round that you guys are involved with these elves and this, this, is, this is what you guys do? It is. You know, we work for Santa Claus. Every single person that works in our office works directly for Santa. And we have scout elves and we have customer service elves and we have sales elves. So everything happens here, actually, um, out of our Atlanta facility. But Santa sends us the elves and we make sure they get good homes. Uh, now tell me, how has this journey, what has it done uh, for you around the holidays? Because... You know, it gets busy. You get busy around the holidays. Everyone wants to read the book, wants to find out more about the elves. So how has it impacted your own family holidays? Well, you know what's neat is that our family had an elf when I was young. I was growing up. You know, my, my sister and my brother and I all used to race to go find our elf, who was named Fisbee. Fisbee. And finding Fisbee was so much fun, you know, to look and find where he might be, what might Fisbee had told Santa. One of the things we enjoy the most, of course, is telling Fisbees your direct liaison. I mean, this is the direct line to Santa. So you could actually tell him, I'm really sorry, I, I didn't do my homework, or I changed my mind. This is what I want for Christmas. So it was, it was always nice to have that. But personally, now to see that joy in other families, you couldn't ask for more than that. That is fantastic. The Elf on the Shelf. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas to you, I'll tell your Elvin sister, Hi, your mom, tonight. your whole family, <laughs> and to Fisbee, because I know he's still floating around there. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right, if you want more information on the Elf on a Shelf or some fun activities for the kids, head to their website, elfontheshelf.com.